Today we have another slow weekend at the box office because there's no releases. I thought there would be like two or more releases, but those obviously were only put on Netflix and streaming services, sadly. I don't know why they didn't put them in feeders. But yep, the next weekend there's actually going to be new releases, which, uh, which these movies are going to be absolutely do nothing to. These new releases, obviously. And yeah, why I did have a drop... I had a 2% drop, so I was right. It was going to have a drop. It was only a 2% drop. But Wire is going to probably pass the $50 million mark. Godzilla is also still having pretty good legs. And I don't think Cruella is going to really shake up Godzilla's legs. It's gonna probably, Godzilla is going to probably pass a million, $100 million domestically as well. So the first movie, number one is Spiral. So yeah, Spiral's budget is going to go out like twenty million. It's it's doing all right, but again, it's going to be competing with a Quiet Place next week. Well, this is going to be a huge problem. Okay, this movie has a budget of twenty million dollars, and this movie it, again. I don't think we have the inter the international box office has been updated yet <clears throat> for Spiral, but this movie is not by Sp Spiral isn't really doing too well. This movie had the highest budget of any Saw movie too, twenty million. I think if they kept the budget around ten million, this would have been a successful movie. But it's going to be having to compete with The Quiet Place because Hollywood's obsession with horror movies just never ends. It's going to be having to compete with the Conjuring, the <clears throat> the next Conjuring movie, which is coming a week after A Quiet Place, place as well, and both movies are going to be competing directly with this movie. I think this movie will end up grossing $20 million domestically and $10 million internationally, but it's still a $10 million loss for Spiral. It's still a flop. And unless the, bu unless the marketing budget is very small, then maybe this movie will be, a su will be a success. But this movie currently is still a box office failure. Failure. Here. Next we have Wrath of Man. This movie is confirmed to have a $50 million budget. But this movie hasn't had is doing pretty well internationally. It's international sales hasn't been updated yet. But it's doing very well internationally. You know, especially in China. You know, in China. Made $22 million in China. No. Basically. And it will probably continue doing well in China. I don't think they have updated Chinese, the Chinese box office yet. It's very early in the morning. You know, here they haven't really updated the international box office. But if this, but if this movie continues doing well in the international box office, like in Russia and China. Oh, wait. It, yeah, because China's box office has been updated yesterday. Now, I've been updated today. So, it's going to probably be doing... It's doing well. It's pretty well in China for this type of movie. But we're going to see how this continues. But yeah, on the Blu-ray, it's not even getting a 4K release. I could tell you something about how well this movie's actually doing. But this movie goes $18 million domestically. It's now $59 million was below its budget. So this movie has actually beat its budget. Now it has to break even at around $100 million worldwide. Or else it will become a box office flop. Flop basically here, you know, there. Those Who Wish Me Dead is the answer to the whole Wii movie. You know, it made $9 million in the box office. You know, I gotta look up the budget here. Those Who Wish Me Dead. You know, budget is around, yeah, $20 million. This is a flop, basically. Answer to the whole Wii, you know, another box office flop under her watch here. Basically, yeah, this is another box office failure. Not surprising, you know, here that this is a box office failure. You know, it has a very, you know, it has, a, you know, an actress that people just don't really like that much. People have seen through her eyes, okay? Through, no, through the eyes, I, oh yeah, she's one of the greatest. No, she isn't, okay? Next is Rhea and the Last Dragon. Which has made another $1.6 million. Despite this releasing on home video. This actually is the smallest drop for the movie. 
since May se since the increases on May seventh and uh, April the weekend of April ninth and the eight weekends of May seventh. This movie story box office failure needs to make like three hundred million dollars, like no not like three hundred million dollars to break even because then he spent a lot of money on these movies and now and yeah the international box office is not gonna save this movie either. It it did horribly there. Basically, in the international box office, it did so horribly in, in places like Mexico. It did so poorly in Japan, where they were hoping the movie would do well there. And especially did poorly where, they, where it mattered most, like in China and Russia. Basically, you know, actually did well in Russia, but it did so poorly in China. This, it's not going to matter. Next is Godzilla vs. Kong. This movie is going to probably pass the $100 million mark here. It has been doing well for the for the past month now. And yeah, we have the box office here for Godzilla vs. Kong. And yeah, Godzilla vs. Kong has had its most drop or so far of only six percent. Because there's no again there's no reason, so there's nothing really to take away. But Will Cruella make a decline in Godzilla's Kong sales enough for that it won't pass a hundred million? I think Godzilla passing a hundred million is gonna be set in stone. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be one of those movies that barely hit a hundred billion dollars at the box office. Again, Godzilla movies are not known for the rigs, so this movie already had already has better rigs than the last Godzilla movie, you know, at least, and that was Godzilla King of the Monsters. It's already having better rigs. Then the last Godzilla King of the Monsters. I don't think it will pass Godzilla King of the Monsters, but already has better legs than Godzilla King of the Monsters. And so this was open to 47 million and ended with 110 million. So as it's that, we see this is a box of success compared to Godzilla King of the Monsters worldwide. It did better in China. It did better. It's doing. It has having better legs domestically. Basically, it's also having better. I think it's also having better legs than Godzilla 2014. As well, 2.15 for Godzilla 2014. Teen, and yeah, we're gonna do you know, that's the Masterverse. Out of the Masterverse, this is having the best rigs of them all, despite it being the least grossing domestically. And all, and I don't think it's gonna reach King of the Mar it's gonna reach Godzilla and Kong Skull Island. But the only one that had the same similar rigs is Kong Skull Island, is a sweet too, it's still only 2.75. So, yeah, so there we go. <laughs> you know, about that, Godzilla vs. Kong had the best rigs of all of the movies, despite having the worst opening because of the pandemic and because of HBO Max as well. So, and it is coming out on Blu-ray on June 15th. I think this movie will be still be doing well by June 15th, just like why it is, okay, as well. And there aren't really any in that, you know, there aren't really groundbreaking movies that really gonna, you know, then we have Mortal Kombat, which had this most drop so far. Oh, yeah, it's got the it's Kong. Mortal Kombat only dropped. I don't see Demon Slayer here. They, they must not update Demon Slayer. Or they must have kicked Demon Slayer out of Slayer feeders. But yeah, Mortal Kombat is now at 75 million. You know, now it's at 41 million. It's not doing well internationally because more cameras, more no more cameras. International sales haven't been haven't been updated yet. They haven't been updated yet internationally. As well, the problem is more cameras because it's a because it's, it, but subject material didn't get a China release, release, which is why it's not doing too well. The box office the movie has like a fifty million dollar budget. Here, you know? and yeah, next is you know if we get more cameras budget. Oh, it's fifty-five million. So it needs to make a hundred ten million. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's a flop, basically. It needs to make a hundred ten million worldwide to make money, and it's not gonna make a hundred ten million worldwide, basically to hundred twenty at the max. Max. I even with HBO Max sales, it's not gonna. It's still a flop. It's still a flop. I don't think they're gonna make a sequel to Mortal Kombat. So yeah, don't expect a sequel to Mortal Kombat. They're gonna probably try in the next ten years to make another Mortal Kombat movie. I wouldn't be surprised at the slightest that they do. But you know, next is Dream. The last movie is Dream Horse. This is a, a failure. 
basically, you know, that, I don't think they have a budget for Dream Horse, but that's like the only new release of this week is Dream Horse, and yeah, people just don't really care about it. It's gonna be it's one of those Oscar bait movies, and people just don't really care about. It. They don't have a budget listed for Dream Horse, basically. Yeah, yeah, they don't really have a budget for the movie. Movie. It was another Sundance movie, so it was gonna be promoted and propped up by the critics, of course, because of course, you know, there. But the movie isn't really doing too well at the box office. You know, it seems people don't really care about what Ron Mayo says was gonna be a classic or not. Ron Mayo said this movie was amazing, but not the audience. The audience didn't really care for this movie, which is proven by the box office. Which is proving by, of course, again, a lot of these Sundance movies don't really do too well at the box office. But this movie isn't really doing too well. It's only releasing on video, home video already on June 11th. So, yeah, it's not really doing too well at the box office or uh, it's not going to really do too well on home video either. So, yeah, but it's basically about Dream Horse. Goodbye.